Hello everyone and welcome back to Fortnite events. So today I'm gonna show you how to make Stereo's bedroom into Fortnite. Not only Stereo's bedroom, any project you want to add into a Fortnite, the entire room, the entire house, the entire building. I'm gonna show you how to do this and with really easy method, it doesn't require anything. And as you can see, I can actually be, uh, go above any of these. Let me build. Oh. And then I can also go uh, above Stereo's bed. That's awesome. <laughs> wow. And the first thing you're gonna do, guys, is going to Google and search for Family Guy Sketchfab. Then after this, you go down until you find Sketchfab. Just open this uh, this website. I can give you also the link in the description. Then you can download any of these assets. I'm gonna download Stereo's Bedroom by pressing here. And I'm just gonna download the extension Blend. Then after downloading the file, just make sure to unzip this file. And inside this file, you will see this one is theorysroom.blend. Of course, you need a blender to be able to open this file. I'm going to double click on that file. Now, just close this one. And this is the uh, Stereo's bedroom. I'm going to just hide this one. I don't need it. And as you can see, this is his bed. This is uh, the other items in Stereo's bedroom. This is, of course, if you, you can see it from the camera ang angle, you can close that so you can have a better lock in the room. You can, of course, uh, like select any object and just delete it, just in case if you want to delete a single object, like this one. Yeah, so you can delete any object in a Stereo's bedroom. And the next one, the next thing we're going to do is actually export, but I prefer to export everything so we don't really delete anything. I'm going to just control that everything. So now we didn't delete anything. And now we're going to export all of, the, all of that room into FBX. Make sure it's FBX. And just go to desktop and call it Stereo's room normal. Okay. This is how we can export the Stereo's room. The next thing we're gonna do is actually making this as a single object. So I'm gonna select the first item. This is the first item, as you can see. And I'm gonna select all these items. Then I will press an object. Then I will press join. So now the entire thing become only one object. And after that, I'm going to again go to export. And this time, I'm going to export it, but I'm going to call it instead of normal, I'm going to call it combined. And export, OK? Now I will go to uh, the Unreal Editor. Let's start a new project. And now inside your Unreal Editor, you, you open this one, Content Drawer. And you need to make two new folders. The first new folder, I'm going to save it as, uh, as normal. And the other one, I'm going to call it combined. Now let's open the normal and go to desktop and there is no uh, bedroom normal, just to drag it and put it here. Of course, if you couldn't drag it, you can simply press import and just uh, choose the file from outside. And after loading all the objects inside your Unreal Editor for Fortnite, you can simply drag any of these objects and just put it inside the map. You can, of course, make it bigger or smaller from these, or you can go to detailed and just scale it 10 times in all direction. So it just become bigger and also try to move it. So yeah, we can see it. Yeah, it's here. Just land it here. And this is how uh, the item will be look like. Of course, you can also by clicking on, on selecting the item and going to details. You can also see the details from the window in case if you if you you don't have this one just press on details and by going down you can actually change the color of this item like by going to here i can just double click on that and i can get any other values like let's say i'm gonna just make it pink and uh just apply and as you can see, the color of the object is has been changed. You can also get any other colors if you already have a, a, a ready material. You can just drag the material and put it here. And yeah, this is pretty much how to load any object solo. In case if you want to uh, load the entire thing, you're going to select the first item, then go down to the last item. Don't select the material. You don't need the material. Just select the items. Then drag them, all of them together, and just put them here on the island. And as, as you can see, now I have loaded the entire room into Fortnite, like this. OK, 
Okay, now just to make sure that the room try to land it on the ground. And as you can see, now I have loaded the entire series room. And actually I can edit every single object inside this room. Like I can make it, uh, like I can move it a little bit. Can change it the color and change everything inside series room. Can also delete these objects that I don't need. Can leave this object if you want. And yes, that's pretty much how to do it as a separated items. If you want and you don't really want to do all of that, you can just drag the combined item. But in that case, you will don't you you don't have control in every object in in that. So you, you can only control the entire room. Like I'm gonna show you now. In that case, in that case, as you can see in the combined, you will have only one file, which is this file which is the series room and but it's only one file so it's it give it give us the same result but this is the same result as this but you see if you see this you don't really have any controls like the entire room just moved together you cannot delete a, an object like you cannot delete this one because it's already combined with this object now let's go into the game and interact with this and once I launched the game, I found that these items are just extra small and of course I need to make it bigger. So I'm just gonna go back again to the Unreal Editor. And actually guys, one of the fastest way to just scale the object really fast is by selecting the object, like I'm gonna select this one. And just make sure you look this one. So once you make it like eight, the entire object will be uh, yeah, like scaled to eight, make it 10. So it will be the entire object scaled to 10. Then you can just make it up. So yeah, this is how it looks. For the other object to and to scale it all the the entire thing, you gonna you need to select all the object at the same time. So this is this is this room. I'm gonna just ignore this one. Starting from the series room, I will go all the the way down until I find this one. So now I'm gonna just go to details. I'm gonna scale it to eight or nine. I don't remember. It was nine, right? The other room was nine and just to make it a little bit up i think the other one was how much we selected it was 10 okay so now i'm gonna just go and there is bedroom i'm gonna just make the details as 10. so now it's scaled to 10. so to test things into the game i'm gonna push changes and i'm gonna try it in game right now and now the game just loaded and this is how the series bedroom will be looking like inside the game. Oh, this is just awesome. Uh, of course, if I try to go inside, it will, it won't let me because this, this, this invisible wall, I need to delete it. So I'm going to just, just delete the invisible wall and make sure that there is no other object that blocking my side. Okay. Okay, as you can see, I just uh, deleted the invisible wall, so now I I am actually inside. Whoa, whoa, Stewie, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> I can actually build so I can have a better lock on Stewie. You can actually get Stewie in game and also put it put him inside his bed. If you have a, a good 3D model for Stewie, you can just put him inside his bed. And whoa, this is a really nice chair. Woo! This is a toy we put it in outside. That was really, really cool. Uh, this is a window. You cannot go further. Of course, you will find some glitches in this object. This is completely normal. But wow, this is really interactable. As long as you made it as a solo, uh, solo target, you can interact with every single object inside here. But in case if you made it as combined object, in that case, you will not be able to interact with anything. Look, you cannot even go inside. You cannot, like, do you see this this wall? The, the, here, there is no invisible wall. But even if you try it here, you can't. Because literally, you made it as a single object. So you cannot interact with anything. Like, you cannot even delete that. So I don't really recommend combining your um, your assets to be, before you uploading into the game. What do you think, guys, about this? If you think it's cool, let me know in the comments. And I will try to make more videos, but make sure to subscribe and let me know what, what is the next video should be. Bye!